Revolution under the new media. Magnets. We all know at least a little something about magnets. Opposite forces attract, like forces repel. They pick up things made of metal. But what exactly is a magnet? A magnet is an object with a magnetic field. This field is created by the movement and interaction of the electrons in the object so that all the electrons are spinning in the same direction. Then all electron domains must also point in the same direction so that the magnetic charge is not exerted everywhere, canceling itself out. Therefore, a magnet has a north pole and a south pole. And if you were to break a magnet in two, you wouldn't isolate either pole. Instead, each new piece would have a north pole and a south pole, which is why magnets are considered dipoles, because no matter how small the pieces of the original magnet become, each piece will still have two poles. Another type of magnet is the electromagnet, which requires electricity to flow through coiled wires to create a magnetic field. An electric guitar combines both electromagnets and permanent magnets. That's just a fancy way of saying a normal magnet. An electric guitar pickup is where the magnetics start. It includes a magnet which has been wrapped with wire. Alright, sounds simple enough, so let's go look at a guitar. Alright, so I'm not going to even pretend I know how to play this, but I will explain to you how this works. What happens is when you pluck a string, the vibrations of the string interrupt the magnetic field of the magnets that are located in the pickup. And with that interference of their magnetic field, it turns into a signal which is sent along the cord into an amplifier. To better explain this, I'm going to show you some diagrams. So let's take a look at that. There are two types of guitar pickups, either one solid magnetic bar wrapped in wire coils or multiple magnets, one for each string wrapped in wire coils. In both cases, when a string is put into motion, the vibration interferes with the magnetic field. This interference is transferred as a current into a simple circuit located within the guitar body. This circuit acts as a filter to zero in on one specific frequency. But, by adjusting the knobs on the guitar, you can choose how much of the higher frequencies you want and the volume of the signal. The signal then goes through the jack, where the cord is connected to the guitar, into the cord, into the amplifier. The amplifier works a lot with the speaker. The signal is sent to the voice coil of a speaker, which is another electromagnet. The amp alternates the signal switching between positive and negative charges creating an alternating current. Since the electromagnet mag is constantly switching north and south poles, the permanent magnet, also located in the speaker, reacts with the electromagnet and forces the voice coil and the speaker's diaphragm back and forth, thus vibrating the air outside the speaker and creating sound waves. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles, or the, uh, Vibrations are turned into signal and then turned into sound and then you have a rock concert and you're like, woo, go concert! Anyway, if you actually watch this video, then you know what I'm trying to say. Now go away and learn something else.